angry guy here, and Western women can't handle password bros rejecting them. Yeah, what's new? Someone cue the intro, please. Western women can't handle password bros rejecting them. Well, I mean, ladies, if you can't do the time, then you shouldn't do the crime. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So we have a great video again here from Legion of uh, Men. And we're going to watch this video because these women are having a hard time dealing with the fact that men are rejecting them for foreign women. One more from this channel. is women's reaction to passport bros. Let's see. Positive? Doubtful. Omni thinks these chubby girls have the highest body counts. They just throw themselves at you. Talk about it. Talk about it. How would you know, bro? <laughs> you got insider information? <laughs> I've been doing a deep dive on the passport bros phenomenon, and here's an... Listen, I'm starting to realize some of you have been harpooning out here in the streets. <laughs> Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> insight that a lot of people miss the way these men are leaving uh, their own countries to go to lower income countries you, to find wives and they say that it's because the women there are more feminine and they really value femininity in a woman they say that the women in their own countries they're not as feminine anymore they're masculine and they just don't want that but then i look around me my neighbors my friends and a lot of the women <laughs> here are feminine they're beautiful they have a soft who feminine. told you that they're feminine who told them that, who told them that they're beautiful who told you that you're beautiful all right these women are out here trying to tell other women and themselves that they have what men want when men when they clearly don't it's hilarious like they are gassing their own heads up yeah, they are in such a state of delusion because they are losing everything a country without its men is nothing, okay? A country without its men is a wasteland. And that's exactly where this country is headed. And these women are what brought or what helped to bring down the country. In an aura, they treat their men well, they cook, they clean, they do everything. Then I realized that I'm in a high income neighborhood and their husbands, they're high earners. This just highlights how femininity has become a luxury in the US. Because it has Ooh. become a luxury that a lot of men cannot afford, they go to places where femininity is the norm and not luxury. And that's okay, good for them. Bottom line is, if you're a feminine woman, you get the best pick of men in any society. Whether you're an American woman in the US or a foreign woman. Listen. Now, that's a very interesting point. If you're a traditional woman, you get the best pick of men anywhere, regardless if you are in the United States or you're in a foreign country. Because men want feminine women. Men want traditional women. Men don't want feminist. And that is a damn good point. She actually nailed that point. That's the unfortunate truth. It's rooted in... The broken capitalist system we have right now that is actually screwing up men's abilities to provide like they used to back in the day. Hello, Jason. <clears throat> you will get a ton more feminine women in richer neighborhoods. That's a fact. Somebody, as, I've seen this with my own eyes working in construction and remodeling with my own business and dealing with clients from all sorts of income levels in society. The million dollar houses typically had the most feminine, beautiful women. Because a man could afford that kind of woman. It's probably not for the reason she thinks. And it goes deeper than because men. But her point stands in the wider picture of society as a whole. Now, what I've noticed is when you go down lower into the rungs of society, you tend to get more and more masculine women because they have to be masculine to a point to survive. Because most of them probably have men or no men in their lives, but men that come and go and not in a consistent basis. So that forces them to protect themselves by becoming more masculine, working more, bitter and gentle. Left, and those who missed it would pout, well, I didn't want any ice cream anyway. Yeah, like that. Moving on. My take on Passport Bros as an American who's lived in the Philippines for two years is that most Filipino women who are dating foreigners, they know English very well. There's uh, yeah, so I mean, that's kind of a given. We already know that, sweetie. But I mean, thank you for filling us in. We already know that most Filipinas that, you know, it just in general speak English. It's 92% uh, of the Philippines speak English. 
So that's not something that she needed to tell us. It's real. What I really want to know is what she's doing in the Philippines, though. Smart. They're not uneducated. They definitely know what's going to happen and what's going on, and they know the expectations of what a possible. Yeah, for those asking me, it's testimonials. Just short blurbs like quips, you know, a few, like a paragraph max. Just testimonials that I could use. Some of the really solid ones with good reviews will be up, will be, you know, displayed over on the website. <clears throat> Just to give men an idea of kind of what's going on for the community. Well, marriage might entail. The part where I get a little worried is I've seen a lot of passport bros be, first of all, predators as young as 13 years old. Yeah, and see, this is, guys, this is the bull crap that they're coming with right now. This is the shaming language. So she's living in the Philippines, but she doesn't, she's living in the Philippines, but she doesn't want the slaves leaving. She doesn't want the slaves leaving America because she's still living off that labor, all right? We are still subsidizing, we are still subsidizing her and her people, all right? So they don't want them leaving. They want to keep men on the plantation. Even though she's not here, she wants to keep men on the plantation, saying that password bros are going over to the to, to Philippines to go and find go and you know look for women as young as 13. That's an absolute lie. And that's this is this is one of the tactics. What another tactic, another reason why she's doing this, guys, is because of her beta male orbiters. She wants to make sure that her beta male orbiters don't <laughs> never ever think of trying to abandon her and take on the password bro lifestyle. So even if they do travel, they don't try this because she's because she and other women are going to call them out for doing this. They're going to say, "Oh no, you're what you're really doing is this." So they will never attempt to do this. So this is a this is another attack on the on, on men, on, you know, to keep them on the plantation and keep them sipping. This is a this is a terrible person. And second of all, they seem very very hurt and just like really jaded towards American women and kind of controlling and just really aggressive. So that would be something to consider as well if you want that type of personality as a partner. This queen addressed some concerning points, although she was quite vague on it. And when she said, a lot of password bros being predators, going after 13 year old little ones, that is disgusting and should not be allowed anywhere. My concern on her wording is she actually jumbled those deplorable individuals with men who are jaded. I by no means defend the first group she mentioned. I'm just pointing out how. Yeah, it's guilty by association, unfortunately. And she did that by, she did that, she did that deliberately. She had no proof of that. First off, let me explain something about the Philippines. She's a, she's a complete and utter liar. In the Philippines, they are so serious about protecting their children that if you're a person seen with a child that is not your child, so for example, you can go marry a Filipina who has children and you can take her child to, you know, take her child to school. If you are seen with that child, all right, if you have not adopted that child formally, you can be arrested for being out with a child that is not related to you. It is illegal to be out in the Philippines with a child that is not related to you. That is how serious they take it. They take protecting children in the Philippines. And yet this woman is here claiming that men are going over there to go look for girls, young women as young as 13, as though the Philippines is a is a hot spot for this type of thing but it absolutely is not just because some men happen to go overseas to be predators just like there's some older women that pre are predators to younger men overseas that doesn't mean that's quote passport bro that's someone who's trafficking <laughs> that's a predator and they should be buried in the prisons but that has nothing to do with a subset of men that are probably of value because most People that hold a passport in the United States make something like 60% of them have over $100,000 a year salary. So pretty good value, man. And a lot of the passport bros aren't old. They're actually pretty young guys. Uh, Montana, an Indian reservation, it's more of a game and sometimes a joke. It's a different culture out here, but definitely not serious. <laughs> yeah. Trails End, the website is actually done. It's just creating the payment portal and then... And also, when people move to the U.S., you know, they have a foreign spouse. Sometimes, not always, sometimes that foreign spouse is isolated, doesn't have very good connections. So if anything were to be bad or if they would need any help, I'm just worried that some people might not have the resources to get the appropriate help or support or community they need. But 
I don't care who you guys marry. <laughs> she's so full of crap because you know she was she's saying she doesn't care who we marry, but then in the end she she basically says all kinds of things that would that would suggest that men you know are abusers that going over to the Philippines, so they should not be allowed to marry um, women from Asia. She's also suggesting that if men bring women back to the United States, they are going to socially isolate them, so these women will be left without a support system. But hey, she's not saying who you should marry. This this is a hater. This is an absolute hater. If it's a foreigner or not, obviously I'm married to a foreigner myself, but I think there are just some parts to be cautious about. And then also just remember, a lot of American women have had really bad experiences with men. A lot of American women have had really bad experiences with men, as though men have had really good experiences with American women. I mean, guys, think about how great it has been to be, to be a woman over the last 20, 30 years. Think about how terrible it's been to be a man over the last 20 to 30 years. And, and now here she is basically putting it out there that women suffer so badly. All these women are suffering. The women that are, the women that are living their best life right now, you know, they're suffering oh so badly at the hands of these detestable men. Guys, you've got to be absolutely kidding me. This is the society we are living in, and we need to be awake of it. We need to be awake of the of the BS, because women like her will destroy the lives of men, and 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 they won't stop. They can't stop. They won't stop until there's nothing left. Okay, this is a this is an absolute narcissist, guys. And also, guys, if you've reached this far into the video, please consider please consider subscribing to the channel if you already have not subscribed. If you have, I thank you very much. And turn on notifications to never miss another video again. Please go ahead and hit the like button because it tells the YouTube algorithm, "Hey algorithm, I want to see more videos from Angry Guy," and it, so they will suggest more videos into your suggested videos section, as well as put more videos from me on your homepage, so you'll have more of your of the stuff that you're addicted to. And also, if you want to drop me some cash, you can drop me some cash via cap cash out for some Red Bull, so I'll have more. I'll have more energy because you're putting out more videos for you guys. I'm telling you guys, these women are absolutely delusional. Women like her are delusional. They're just trying to throw shade and hold men back because they don't want foreign men to prosper. They want to keep foreign men on the plantation. They'll have to keep on working and providing for these women as they go out and enjoy their lives. So when they see like that kind of rough personality going to another country and having women there, they might just be a little upset or triggered because they don't want women to experience things that they have also experienced. So that's my take. Hold up a second, Queen. Let me get this straight. She is married to a foreign man and she said U.S. women have had bad experiences with U.S. men and don't want to see other women go through that? Bam! Please correct me if I'm wrong here. That sounded almost like a double standard. Yeah, fam. I can get a foreign spouse, but it does concern us women when the other gender does the same. To this Kaween, I just have to say, her take sounds suspiciously a lot like rules for thee and not for me. Bam! Hear me out. U.S. women have been going overseas looking for husbands for years like this Kaween, and I never heard U.S. men complaining <laughs> or making a movement against it, so why give any opinion, no matter how subtle it may be, in contrast to men doing the same? Maybe it's because with every passport bro that pops up, that's one less possible future alimony check. Now that's a lot of damage! Moving on. I don't blame men also for looking. If they've really tried to find a woman here and they can't find one, I don't blame them for looking elsewhere because we have a certain level of, I guess I want to call it, what's the word I'm looking for? Privilege. 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 We have a certain level of privilege over here in the U.S. And what's truly amazing is that American women cannot see all the privilege that they have. That some people, some women abuse. And, you know, and in that fact, they end up abusing who they're with. And they're, they want to get everything and they don't want to give anything. But that's been going on for a while. I have to applaud this Kaween. Her words were on point as to a huge part of the cause of passport traveling men looking for relationships overseas. Ladies, let me put it this way. If multiple women say over and over in their coaching videos, don't settle. Well, guess what? Men don't have to settle for you either. There are more videos of 
women shaming or complaining about men who left for better treatment somewhere else. Then there are videos like this one that tries to understand the real reason men are leaving. Kind of like when a 400 pound slash 28.5 stone guy complains that airline seats don't offer the minimum space when in fact those seats are designed to accommodate someone weighing about 240 pounds slash 17 stone. Yeah, like that. I agree with this Kaween when she <laughs> says many women in the US are privileged and some abuse that privilege. Not to mention men who decide to start families in other countries don't want to go through the horrors of the U.S. family court system. You know, and I think when we really need to come to the bottom line and where we really need to come to an accord with men and women is that we need to understand that it's not always about what you can get. Spoiled. Someone said spoiled girl syndrome. No, dude, it's oldest time princess syndrome. The entitlement is drilled into them by culture, family, society at large. It's, it's, women it's, are not held to the same standards men are. Women are not held to the same standards as men are. Women will never be held to the same standards that men are because women are entitled. But things are changing and it's not nothing lasts forever. Absolutely nothing lasts forever. And these same women that have been rejecting men, treating men poorly, belittling men, they're going to find themselves now desperately looking for a good man. They won't be able to find anyone. It's going to be one of the hardest times in history to be a woman because they have so much and then they have nothing at all because despite all that they've achieved, college degrees, medical degrees, postdoctoral degrees, all of that crap, you know, oh, I worked, I worked on a boat. I did this. I did this. I did all these different things. In the end, it won't make a darn difference because – in the end, it won't make a darn difference because – these women, these men are walking away, and they're not going to get into relationships with these Latinas or Filipinas. Or, correct, I'm going to correct myself. They're not going to get into relationships with women who don't have anything to offer. They will get into relationships with Latinas and Filipinas who have something to offer. I'm correct myself right there. It, it's, 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 that's really how it is. Western women can't compete with foreign women, and that's why Western women can't handle that men are rejecting them for foreign women. You know, that have and for women that have standards, respect, decency, something that and a lower body count, something that an American women just don't have. Anyway, guys, that's the entire video for you. I want to know what you think about this. Right. Let me know what you think. Let, let me know what you think regarding how how Philippi, how uh, Asians are viewing things now and how other groups are viewing things. You know, what do you think America is, is using? How do you think, I mean, how do you think Western women, why do you think Western women can't handle passive bros rejecting them? You know, I want to know what you think regarding this. You know, like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.